Communication is fundamental to human existence. It's communication that helps us narrate our past, position our present, and helps us imagine a better future. So as a school, we're really working to understand how to create the stories we tell, the stories we share, and how we understand them. And that's all part of the social impact that we have. Pandemic happens. University of Miami, like many other universities, we have hybrid classes and online classes. We are mainly using Zoom to connect. Many of our students are international. They are not here in Miami. I'm teaching film production. How do you make film with the students that are remote? So with the students in different countries, we had the classes online and we started defining new film projects. I actually saw that as an opportunity because pandemic went to the psyche of all of our students. And they all of a sudden they noticed that there are important issues they can make film about. So for example, last spring, I asked all my students in three classes, about 50 students, to work on something about pandemic. Because students had moved away from the school, some of them were in Spain, some of them were in France, some of them were in China. All of a sudden, we had all these films made about pandemic in different countries. We had a little film festival, we call it Rapid Response COVID-19 Film Festival. But really the idea was that even narrative films, even fiction, could be very truthful if you connect it to some of the important issues of our time and take students to shift them to that mindset to let me make this film for a reason. When the fall semester started and my classes were online again, I had a large group of students that they registered remotely. Many of our Chinese students, they couldn't even come back even if they want to. And I told them, what if we still make a film and we make the film in two countries? What if we shoot in China? That happened. And we brought students together through Zoom. They wrote the script together between Miami and Shanghai. They did the casting, locations, all in China, back to Miami for decision making. Producer, director, art director in Miami, director of photography, cinematographer in Shanghai. They communicated all the pre-production aspects, casting, locations, art direction. Storyboard was developed change a couple of times because of the location and pandemic situations, actors re recast. And then on the day of the shoot, everything was streamed live from a professional red camera to an iPad, to Zoom, to our students in Miami. And our students in Miami, they saw everything live. And now add to that the challenge that there are 12 hours and sometimes 13 hours time difference. So when they were shooting in China, most of the time our students that had to, in Miami, they had to stay awake at 4 a.m. and that was the time of the shoot for them. And imagine this, our students in Miami, now in their resume, they have a film that was produced and shot in China. How many students in the United States, they can say that? So Shu is a girl around nine years old who through a tragic event loses her mom and then she has to live with grandma and she doesn't want to live with grandma. And now you have to realize that the grandma lost a daughter. So she has her own line and she has her own pains but Shu is not seeing that. And so the story is about the grandma and the grandchild who lost a daughter and mom to come together eventually. That shared sadness that brings them together. One of the really good decisions we made to make this production work is we created a collaboration between two universities. My university, University of Miami, and Fudan University in Shanghai. Fudan, in my understanding, is the third most distinguished and major university in China. So before this production, first we created what we call global classroom. Zoom really allowed us to create these global classrooms to the level that we couldn't do before. We had joint lecture with real-time translation all in Zoom. So their, their professor uh, gave us a lecture about legendary Chinese filmmaker, his name is King Hu. 
And then I had a lecture about a legendary American filmmaker, Trance Malik. And that created a synergy that led to giving all the equipment of Fudan University to students to film over there. Zoom is helping us to create this communication between two universities to create filmmaker friends for life. And that's essential. And I can't tell you enough how much students from the U.S. they learned about Chinese culture, their poetry, their painting. They learned about locations. My students right now, they know the streets of Shanghai and surrounding of Shanghai because during the, when they were doing finding locations and casting, they went to all these locations, tried to find this street, this bridge, this river. They filmed the boat in a river. So all of my students, they know the city right now. To me, as an educator and a filmmaker, the key is creating collaborative opportunities for them to work for semester-long projects. We need to give them a problem, in our case, it's a film. A problem-based, semester-long collaboration. And that's where the transformation happens. That's the global experience in an academic institution like University of Miami or Fudan University owes it to their students. One of the roles for communication in the future with a thoughtful strategic plan with something like Zoom is to think of ways we can promote empathy. If we want to promote respect for diversity of perspective and the role and the importance of empathy, we need to think through how this kind of connection can make us understand each other. I think we have a very important connection with many countries in East Asia, particularly China and Hong Kong. I worked at the Chinese University of Hong Kong years ago and have great affection for the universities that we've been collaborating with, including Fudan University. What we want to do is to maintain these connections so that students can collaborate on projects together and learn from each other and realize that the future of production may be through these kinds of digital connections that we actually can collaborate both in the classroom as well as in future productions.